What are some <laughs> of the other uh, priorities for you guys? In, in, in terms of what? The what you want to do with the agency? There's, I spoke earlier of Guma Tranquilidad, and that's a piece of real estate that's worth tens of millions of dollars. We have about 49 residents, elderly residents that live there. If we leverage that property, um, we could probably uh, house dozens more, several hundreds more uh, elderly residents. Um, Somewhere else? Even when you say leverage that property, what do you mean in English? Basically, uh, we could, um, uh, we, I'd like to consider um, leasing it long term to a hotel developer and using the revenues that come in, uh, that come into the housing authority to build hundreds more elderly units for our Mananco. Gura is sitting on multiple gold mines. We have properties in Sinahanya that have, that overlook Aganya Bay and the, and the Tamuning coastline. We have properties down in Maritza. We just visit, visited Maritza uh, last week and as well. Ocean view. Is that the highest and best use? Probably not. And that's one thing I really like for our legislature to buy into, our governor. Wait, is it the highest and best use to have it just sitting there or to um, do these leases? It, it's certainly not the highest and best use uh, to be used uh, in its current state, which is public housing. Um, we can build public housing elsewhere or anywhere else. It doesn't necessarily have to have a million dollar view and doesn't necessarily have to be down in Tumon Bay. I think I have a lot already. I might want to like expand on this angle about the um, leasing and, and selling because people have talked about the Goma Trink a lot before, right? Right. So what it, do you think the stakeholders would think of this? The, the folks that live there? Yeah. Well, you know, They're probably not going to be very happy, but the bottom line is Gura, it, when the president and, when, and the president and Congress didn't get, get along for several weeks and there was a partial shutdown, we came very close. We came about a month from uh, our Section 8 program running dry. Do we want to do we want to put all our eggs in that basket or do we want to look or do we want to think outside the box? Do we want to start looking at other ways to generate revenues? We don't have to rely 100% and entirely on HUD money. And if it runs dry, then we're in a predicament and the families that we house are all put at risk. What kind of people stay in Guma Trankavadot? It's an elderly uh, resident. So it's uh, those that primarily it's elderly and disabled, and they all live down in Tumon Bay. 